has historically been a really good one, so. King. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a steamy, cool morning here in Georgia. The sun is just now coming up, and I am getting ready to head out and do some road cruising. I made the horrible mistake of not making a video yesterday, and it was one of my best herping days of the year. I found a baby mole king snake, my fifth one of the year, an eastern king snake, and tons of other common stuff. Uh, I just, it was one of those days where I wasn't seeing anything for the longest time, so I just stopped recording. And then, of course, you know, as time passed, it started just picking up and picking up and picking up, and then it ended up being a fantastic day. Okay, bird. Anyways. Anyways. I'm not making that mistake today. I'm recording today no matter what. And uh, if we see stuff, we do. And if we don't, we don't. We'll see. All right, guys, it is feeling nice out here. 65 degrees currently, and the sun is shining bright. Hopefully we will be seeing our first snake here soon. We'll see. Yeah, it's awesome. Finally. There we go. Took a long time, but there's our first snake of the day at afternoon. <laughs> I know you guys have probably seen plenty of these guys at this point in the fall in my videos, but they never get old. And this is Robert's Lifer, the main thing we wanted to see today. Uh, now that we got this out of the way, we're going to spend the rest of the day probably targeting other stuff. So we're going to move this little guy off the road and keep cruising. Absolutely adorable. He is cute. I want to get a couple of good shots of him. Of course, go for it. So. Look at this grumpy little mans. All right. Keep going, go up that way, away from the road. Stay safe, grow up, reproduce, make more. And uh, hopefully I never see you again because you stay out of the road. As much as I'd love to see you again. Leaves grumpily. Leaves huffing and <laughs> But didn't die. No, never played dead that huffed up neck that's cool all right guys we got a little bit of a strategical reassessment because it's a little hot so we decided to do the least logical thing and that's flipped in so we just got out here got a couple spots we're gonna hit on that In there. Well, everyone, we have been all over central Georgia today, and uh, unfortunately, I think we still have only seen the one snake, right? Just the one Simus? <laughs> it's really been a struggle, but we're here at one of my tried and true spots. We're going to hit this real quickly, and then we're going to go cruise around and hope that we can only have a fraction of the luck we had last night while I wasn't recording, of course. So, uh, I know this video is kind of off to a slow start, but hopefully it'll turn around here soon. It's going to be getting dark on us here in the next two hours, so we'll see. All right, this has historically been a really good one, so. King. Nice. That's a new one, I think. Oh, that is a new one, dude. Holy crap. So is, that a, is that an Eastern? All right, guys. So this is the spot where we found the two kings undercover together back in the spring two different individuals this is actually a different male about the same size as the uh the more patterned male that looks a lot more like an eastern king this guy looks a little bit more like a black king but definitely clear hybrid slash integrated depending on what philosophy you subscribe to a new snake i've never seen before that is awesome new individual all right he's sitting still for us but not Definitely the least nice of the three different individuals I've seen here, but I'm still super stoked to flip this guy in October. I have the worst luck with king snakes in October, and we've seen three in the last two days. One mole king, an eastern king, and then this guy. So definitely not bad. I will take it. Absolutely awesome. I'm stoked. Hopefully this guy will be hanging around here, and I'll see him again over the next couple weeks. We'll see. But anyways, we're going to put him back under his piece of tin and keep flipping. That was the first one we flipped, so... There we go. All right, well, we flipped everything else. This is the only snake, so nothing else here. We're gonna photograph this guy real quick, put him back under his tin, and go road cruise. Awesome, great way to start the night. Second snake of the day. We got a cold boy, first snake of the night. 
Dang, he's handsome. Look at that. Really? Sipidon. Yeah, fresh little baby Sipidon. Midland water snake. Well, it's nothing crazy, but it's a start. We're just gonna usher this guy off the road. Really strange place to see one of these, but I'll take it. Alrighty, buddy, stay out of the road. Y'all aren't gonna believe this. That's our second snake of the night. And it is the second baby mole king I've found in the last two nights. Robert must be my good luck charm because what on earth? This is the tiniest mole king I've ever found. It's like half the girth of the one we found last night. The picture of the other one's on my Instagram. If you don't believe this is a different one, you can go compare patterns. But, I mean, it's so much smaller. Check this out. So incredibly tiny and adorable. It's like 64 degrees right now. The one last night was even colder. It was around 60 degrees before the sun went down. But this one was after dark tonight, which is insane. I just cannot believe this is happening. This has been the most ridiculous two days of herping, and I've only recorded one of the days, but I'm glad I at least bothered to record today because if this had happened two days in a row, I would not be happy. So this is the first snake we've seen since the sun actually went completely down. We saw that water snake right when there was a little bit of light still in the sky, but I mean, it's pitch black at this point. Uh, it's about, I guess, 20, 30 minutes after complete dark. There is our first snake. Might be the only snake. We're gonna cruise around a little bit more and see what else we can turn up, but I'm not gonna count on there being anything else. That is insane. We did get two copperheads last night really late, so hopefully that will uh, that luck will carry on into tonight. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna photograph this guy real quick and keep moving. What is up, everyone? Given the circumstances of the last couple times I've been out where the weather didn't seem that good and I ended up finding snakes, and one of those times I wasn't even recording a video, I'm on my way out to just do a little quick run around this afternoon, and if I see something, I will have at least ran an intro. And there we go, beautiful timber rattlesnake in C2. All right, guys, here's another look at the snake from the other angle. Absolutely beautiful. One of the better looking ones I've seen out here. In fact, I'd say this is probably the best looking one I have seen out here. Well, this guy is acting more like a turtle than a rattlesnake, so I guess I'm just gonna leave him alone and keep cruising, see if anything else is out. That's the first snake of the day. All right, he's sitting nicely for us now, but that is a beautiful looking rattlesnake. Anyways, first snake of the afternoon might end up being the only thing we see. It's kind of cool out, so. All right, guys, so yesterday afternoon, I didn't see anything after that one timber. Uh, I cruised a little bit longer, didn't see anything else, but by that point in the day, it was getting kind of late. Um, I'm out here again today in the same area. I just found a dead one. So uh, it's a little bit cooler today, but I'm hoping they will be out. We're gonna cruise for a little bit and then I might go flip afterwards, we'll see. But anyways, I'll keep you guys posted if I see anything. Well, it doesn't seem like much is out crossing the roads today. I didn't see anything else after the DOR timber, but I uh, decided to switch it up. I'm gonna try to flip. Right now I'm headed to the spot where we flipped the king snake earlier in the video. And that would have been, I guess actually, his board right here. That would have been a couple days ago. Uh, it's been a little bit slow this week, but anyways, nothing there. Anyways, I'm headed out to flip that tent again and see if that guy's there or anything else. Hoping to see another king snake or some water snakes or whatever could be hanging out. But anyways, I got a new camera. I just wanted to do a quick uh, review of this thing. This is the Canon EOS RP. Uh, I've got an adapter so that I can use my old 1855 millimeter lens on it, which is one of my favorite lenses. Super cheap if you shoot Canon. It comes with a lot of, it's the kit lens for a lot of the cameras, but super sharp. I love this lens a lot. Um, anyways, the photos that I've been taking on this camera will be in my Flickr or Instagram, both of which are linked in the description of the video, so. All right, this is the piece that's been having king snakes the last couple of times I've flipped it. Most of them were in the springtime, but we did get one last time, so. Not a today. That's the first snake I found in this little stack. And the first snake I found at this spot, I think. Interesting, little ring neck. At the bottom of this, it was so tight under this grass grown over that I had to actually stop recording just to flip it, but there we go, first snake here. All right, next piece is here. Oh, racer, nice. It's the first snake I've gotten under this, too. 
All right, anyways, that's the first thing I've gotten under, ow, ow, under this stack. <laughs> he bolted out from under it and made me chase him to get more video of him, but all right, I'm going to let him go and dig through the rest of that. A lot of this stuff is so grown up because I haven't touched it since spring, so it's really hard to get into it. It's one of the things that sucks about fall flipping, but... It has been producing snakes decently well this year, so can't complain about that. Nothing under that. All right, last set for the day. If we don't see anything under here, I'm gonna start cruising my way home. garter snake that's kind of weird while it isn't shed and isn't much to look at that is probably the first eastern garter snake i've flipped under any of the tin i have anywhere around here so kind of interesting 